Next, we'll move on to the fertilizer or the liquid insecticide system on this planter. Again, the front tank is 400 gallons. The second rear tank is 420 for a total of 820 gallons of either starter fertilizer or insecticide. As a general rule of thumb, of course, you're gonna do whatever each individual family farmer wants, but usually you're gonna put uh, two to five pounds of starter, or excuse me, two to five gallons of starter per acre. And then insecticide, depending on uh, the rate, the amount you mix in either with your starter or pure water, uh, usually it's a two to five ounces a acre uh, of actual product. Now you're probably gonna end up putting three to five gallons an acre of either your starter fertilizer or just plain water uh, to get a good application rate. But of actual product on insecticide, you know, it's gonna be somewhere of a two to five ounces an acre rate. Give or take, of course, whatever the family farmer wants is what we do. On the liquid side of the planter, you have the supply line coming in, tees off, supplies this tank, continues on to the front tank. With the tanks, anytime you're going to be filling them, either of water or liquid fertilizer, you want to make sure that the valve is in the on position to allow product to flow into each of the tanks. This here is an agitator motor. To turn it on, there's a little rocker switch inside a housing up front. And you can rock it to turn it on, rock it off to turn it off. This diverts a small amount of product with a little electric motor from the supply line into the back of the tank and causes some mixing to continue while you're going through the field. If you're going to have the motors on to mix, you just want to make sure that the valve is open uh, to allow the, the product to flow and enter the tank. So starting with the tanks, kind of move down all the way over to here. On the left wing, this is the fill port. You take this uh, cap off. This valve here, you'll notice uh, how it's pointing is the direction of flow. So in other words, if I take the valve like this, the valve is shut. Uh, fluid cannot flow either here, here, or here. It's completely shut. If I take the valve and go like this, now fluid is going to flow ideally from the pump that the farmer has uh, with a quick connection coupler. And you connect it onto here, take the cap off, connect on, have the pump like this, or excuse me, have the uh, handle like this. The farmer will have like a five horse Honda on the back of his tank and uh, that will cause a pressurized system to pressurize the line. It'll flow in through this big uh, line all the way up around through the mainframe and then into each individual tanks. You want to make sure, of course, that the valves are open at the base of each of those two tanks to allow the tanks to fill to whatever level desired. Once you're done, the tanks are full, you're going to want to obviously shut the motor off uh, that the farmer has on his trailer or at his home place. Then you're going to want to take this valve and turn it either to the off or to the pump position. Now you can take the hose off, replace your cap on. Now you are ready with the valve pointed towards your supply line to the pump. You are ready to start applying fertilizer or insecticide uh, as you go through the field and seed. Here is your pump. The pump is driven by this wheel. When the planter uh, lowers into the ground, this wheel comes in contact with this wing wheel. So in other words, this and this touch together. So when this wheel turns, as it's rolling forward, it causes this wheel to turn. This wheel is turning, which engages the gears back here, engages the pump, and pumps your fluid from the tanks through the line, up through the top here, all the way across, over here to your plenum. From this distributor plenum, it goes to each of the individual row units right into the furrow placed right next to the seed to either give it uh, the fertilizer to get started right away or the insecticide to keep the rootworm from eating the seed and uh, having poor yield and poor stand. On this pump, you can adjust the gallons per acre applied. Take this nut loose by turning it counterclockwise. Once this nut is loose, this ring will freely slide back and forth you will notice right now that it is in the five gallons per acre slot. This pump is set up for a 60 foot uh, wingspan. 
So it is accurate when it's at five, it is putting on five gallons an acre. If you move it down to the three, it's putting three gallons an acre. Whatever the farmer wants is what we do. Once you've got the correct number within this V slot, tighten down the nut and you're ready to apply your fertilizer or your insecticide. As you're planting, the wheel is engaged with the wing wheel, causing the pump to draw the product from the tank and then it sends it uh, after the pump pressurized into these plenums. This one here is marked 30 for the 30 inch rows. So if you're planting corn, you will have the 30 open and you will have the 15 closed. You will notice that we're planting corn right now. The 30 is all filled with product. The 15 is all empty. If you're running 15 inch rows for soybeans, you will obviously open this valve. If you are running soybeans uh, on uh, 30 inch rows, then you'll just stay the same with 30 marked and 15 closed. As you're going through the field, you see these little red floating balls. These little red indicators will rise and kind of shake and shimmy inside here. That lets you know that there's product flowing through here and getting diverted into each of the individual row units. So as you're going through the field, once auto steer is engaged and you got time to pay attention behind you, just kind of take a look back and make sure that you see a little bit of shimmy and shake with each one of these uh, red dots. That tells you that there is uh, no plug line and that you are applying a uh, certain amount of product down on each of the individual row units. From the diverter plenums, the liquid product is diverted down each of the individual tubes down into the individual row units. You'll see it attaches with a slip fitting down onto this steel tube. The steel tube is bent precisely to empty out right next to the seed tube. So you're placing your starter fertilizer or your insecticide right next to the seed. 